Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed comparison here between Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the Galaxy Note 9, two top contenders for Android in late 2018. Uh, so very beautiful handsets here, both in a luscious kind of blue colour. Uh, hard to say which one I prefer actually in terms of the colour, I think they're both pretty awesome. Uh, maybe the Note has a more kind of uniform design. Uh, when it comes to you know the back here looking a little bit more curved but absolutely gorgeous handsets here uh, you, you can't really go wrong with either of them when it comes to the build quality uh, in terms of the screens let's have a look at them here both of them super AMOLED as you can see and I think the days of Samsung having the best screens uh, you know a little bit over nowadays you can see Huawei's done an amazing job here uh, with this display, fantastic viewing angles, pretty much on par with the Note 9. Uh, let's just start them up at the same time, give them a clean boot, make it nice and fair here. I think the Note 9 is slightly larger here, as you can see, and it gives you the pen functionality, which maybe Huawei would do well to. Uh, you know, at least sports some sort of stylus to make use of that display. It is going to be Samsung's unique selling point, I think. Uh, we're getting Kirin 970 as well, which is uh, the latest silicon from Huawei. You can see the Note 9 is still very fast here to boot up, uh, which is nice. And I have also updated both phones. So there shouldn't be any uh, differences in terms of bugs, etc. So let's just have a look at the speed then. Uh, open up a few inbuilt apps on both of them. So I think both of them have some sort of health app. Let's see how that is. Uh, so you get your Huawei Health and Samsung Health somewhere around here. Whoops. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one, bring that one up again, and that one. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for the health app here, there we go, it's there. This one as well, and let's go. So that was very close, I think Huawei got into it a little bit faster, but I think the UI is a little bit more advanced on the Note uh, Play Store. Note again here, uh, we do have as well the camera. About, I think the Huawei then just a little bit. Third party apps, always interesting to see uh, how optimized they are. Huawei again, Huawei again here. So this is uh, Exynos. Uh, Note 9 for us in Europe and as you can see it's been left standing here when it comes to the third party applications obligatory GTA <laughs> no <laughs> so fast there you don't even get to uh, listen to the music and the Note 9 10 years later. No wonder Huawei you know, is uh, selling so many phones. I think they're like second now behind Apple. Uh, so they seem to be doing pretty well. And that one is quite loud. Just turn this down a little bit. Well, yeah, I think uh, you can see here Mate 20 Pro is definitively the faster phone. And the screen looks really good as well on both of them. I've got to say, I think, uh, you know, honestly, I can't see a difference. I was expecting the Huawei to come with a little bit cheaper display, given the price is a little bit less, but I can't, uh, can't criticise it whatsoever. Uh, so we we'll just go through this. Uh, 
So you can see the uh, Mate 20 Pro is actually getting the data faster as well. Not that I have a very good connection anymore, but you know you can see you know they've really done a great job here on uh, this phone. Don't think I'm ready to upgrade yet from the P20 Pro, which I'm still very happy with overall, particularly the camera. But uh, maybe in future with the P like 30 series. Uh, let's have a look at the speed test. So yeah, we'll allow all that and both on the same one. Let's try the note first. So other things to consider here, I think they both come with huge batteries this year in terms of the capacity. Uh, it was one area where the Mate series was well ahead, but I think Samsung's caught up now in terms of the battery capacity, which is good. Uh, so they're both going to obviously last you all day, no issues. And also, I think they all pretty much now come with. I think uh, no, in fact, the Note does doesn't come with a, a fingerprint scanner in the display, uh, which I think is uh, cool, but a little bit of a gimmick at the same time. It's not a huge kind of feature why I'd buy the phone. I mean, it's not uh, too difficult just having it on the back or using the face unlock nowadays. But you can see in terms of the speed test here again, Mate 20 Pro dominating the old hand here, the old kind of power user's phone. Uh, so what else can we test here before we round the video off? Let's just try some browsing and then uh, a multitasking test. So let's just try Daily Mail. So we'll just go down the page and see the pinch to zoom, etc. And you can see both of them loading the page nice and smooth here. Uh, we do have a notch to contend with, but you know you can turn that off uh, with the, the Mate 20 Pro. It's not a huge issue. To me, it looks like the Note screen is a little bit washed out compared to the Mate 20 Pros, especially on this white kind of background. Maybe it's my eyes, but yeah, you know, I think uh, Huawei's done an amazing job on the display. Got to give it to them. And also some multitasking, 6 gigs of RAM here. Shouldn't be a problem with either of them. So, some weird. Uh, changing of the multitasking on both of them uh, this one so you can see very nice and stable no uh, real differences here on both of them just try game GTA So straight back in there, and again another one. Oops, don't lock that. Sometimes I lock it. You see, because I'm used to using uh, like uh, vertical multitasking. So Mate 20 Pro straight back in there, a little bit quicker there. Uh, so I think I've seen all I've got to see here. You can definitely see, you know, Samsung. Uh, it's got some contention here when it comes to Huawei. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a quick little comparison here. We'll compare the phone as well against some more budget flagship offerings. So do stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.